Welcome back to We The People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. I will link it to the end of this video. There's a lot of good stuff on the video that I want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot on YouTube. Also, just a quick reminder, uh, at the end of this video, I will also post a second video, uh, and that is to my other channel. Please go check that out. And if you like it, please subscribe to that channel and please leave your comments so I'll know you was there. Please hit that bell icon so you'll be notified for our next uploads. Okay, y'all, with gas prices still going up every day, the national average right now is $4.92 per gallon. And that is for regular grade gas. And in some places in California, it is hitting $9.50 per gallon right now. Y'all, normally what happens in California makes its way across the whole United States. So that $9.50, it could be coming to your area soon. But I have always been taught to look for the best in everything. Look for the good because there's good in, in, in everything if you look hard enough. So here goes. I know I'm going to get some hate for this, but that's okay. Uh, it is the truth. The good that could come out of these high gas prices is the people that loves little Joe and thinks he's doing a stellar job. Well, they're going to start seeing exactly what kind of stellar job he's doing when that $9.50 hits their wallet. Y'all, the job that he's doing just proves that he don't give a damn about the American people. If he did, he would fix this mess that he's got the American people into. But by him shifting his attention away from gas prices and onto that green garbage that he is pushing down our throats, it's proof that little Joe don't give one rat's ass about America or the American people. Y'all, that's just facts. And if you can't see those facts for yourself, then maybe you're part of the problem. Y'all, I don't know of any other YouTuber that will do this, will tell you to go watch another YouTuber. That most time that don't happen. But there is another YouTuber, and I want you to go watch his video. I will link it to the end of this video also. Please go watch Stephen Gardner's video. The name of his video, he just done it day before yesterday. The truth is finally coming out in D.C., and it's painful. That video is a big eye-opener. Please go watch it, and please, when you leave a comment, please let him know that. Walter Wyburn sent you over. Thank you all so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you. Please comment. Please get it off your chest, off your heart, and off your mind. It will make you feel better to just get it out. Y'all, being headline news yesterday was, it was Conway West birthday yesterday. And dang, I forgot to send him a birthday card. Oh, well, I had better things to do. Did y'all see Matthew McConaughey's little speech that in the White House? Why is these movie stars going to the White House to make a speech? They're movie stars. They're not a member of Congress. They're not the president. So why are they making these speeches at the White House? He has always been one of my favorites, but now he is just another Hollywood elite using his star status to get his message to his fans so his fans will agree with him and vote for these crazy new, support these crazy new laws that Joe Biden is coming up with. 
he like I said, he's always been one of my favorites, but no more. He is just a Hollywood elite. And these Hollywood elites needs to shut the hell up. They're not helping anything. Okay, this is what's in the thumbnail. So I don't want nobody saying that I'm not talking about what's in the thumbnail. Because here it is. You just have to watch the video long enough to get to it. Social Security. This comes from CBS News. Social Security. Monthly benefits are likely to hit an 8% raise in January of 2023. Due to the rate of inflation, the COLA raise in January is most likely going to be 8%, give or take a point or two. This will be the biggest raise, the biggest COLA raise in 40 years so in most cases social security says your raise would be an average of 132 per month but how much you get monthly is how they determine how much your raise will be it should be eight percent of whatever your check is you know, in 2022, the raise was 5.9%. And that was a big raise. That was the biggest raise we had in years. But now in 2023, the COLA raise could be 8%. Before anybody jumps on me for reporting about the COLA raise that don't happen until January of 2023, I will say, don't you think it's good to know what you'll be getting what's coming in the future but if you don't want this kind of news maybe this is not the channel for you y'all joe biden poor old man he is still having trouble walking when he's on camera i wonder if he has as much trouble when he knows the camera is off again he stumbles up the stairs of air force one Y'all, we can't pick on him too much for that because he is up there in age and the wind does blow once you get to a certain altitude on those steps. And that's a high high flight of steps. So I'm going to give it to him. I mean, as, as light as he is and his age and the wind factor, and he's trying to walk with a good stride to make himself look younger, of course he's going to stumble every now and then. But y'all, I remember the time in my life when I also had trouble walking. I would stumble around a lot. But that was during the time of my life when I was drinking at work. You know, just like everyone in the White House is now. We know now that Nancy Pelosi made it legal to drink on the job in the White House. In fact, you can have alcohol delivered to your office if you're working in the White House. And guess who pays for that? Yeah, you and me, the taxpayers. We pay for their party in the White House. This is a, a crock of bull malarkey. One last thing before I let you go. AOC is crying that she is a victim of Latino haters. Latinos are speaking out against her and she don't like it and it's hurting her little feelings. AOC, I can promise you this. Latinos are not the only ones that hate you. Just saying. I mean, let's keep it real. In the midterms, we know what we have to do. We have to vote these clowns out of office. If they're in office now, they need to go. If we can't get them out in the midterms, we have to finish the job in 2024. I hate using this analogy, but we need to drain the swamp. Please sound off in the comments below. 
Let me know what you think about all of this stuff. Let me know how you're doing. I would love to know. I do read all of my comments, and I am concerned about you and how you are doing. Please comment below. Y'all, I'll say it again. I'll say it every video. Please keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this mess. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for the people in Washington that's supposed to be working for us. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know I love you all. Please don't forget to click on one of these videos here. And if you go over to Stephen Gardner, please let him know that Walter Wyburn sent you. I love you all. Until tomorrow. Ciao.